Hey everybody, Jeff with Progressive Materials. I'm the Technical and Education Coordinator here at PM. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do an adhesion test using our PM adhesion test kit that you can get and we'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go through what actually comes in the adhesion test kit. First of all, we have a scouring pad and a rag so you can get the roof where or the section that you're going to do the test good and clean, a pair of gloves, your pull test strips, one inch chip brush. It actually comes with a scale that you're going to use to do the pull test, a couple nail gauges, the PMHS 3200 material, a couple of ink pens, and a very snazzy safety yellow PM t-shirt. All right, now we're actually going to get into doing the test. So the first thing you're going to want to do is clean the area that you're going to be doing the pull test on. My marketing guys didn't bring me a spray bottle, so I get to use my water bottle to wet a section of the roof. We can use our scrub pad to get any loose dirt or dust or grime on that section done. Now fortunately, we're kind of on a good hot sunny day here in Indiana, so that should dry in just a few moments. Once it does, we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, now that we have the section that we're gonna do the adhesion test on good and dry, we're gonna go ahead and open the pipe of uh, HS3201. Make sure before you open this, you give it a really good shake. There is a, a chance that there, is, there could be a little separation in there. So just give it a good shake, 30, 45 seconds or so, just to make sure everything's good and mixed. That should be okay. Now we got our one inch chip brush that also comes in the test kit. All we want to do, is move my bucket here, kind of isolate the mess a little bit. I'm gonna put about 10 to 12 mils. This is a very high quality product, so hitting that 10 to 12 mils can be hard sometimes. If you're closer to 15, 18, 20, you're okay. We'll take one of our test strips, one inch by 12 inches. What I like to do, I like to take my end and I'll tie a little loop in it before I put it in there. It gives you something to hook your fish scale up to. So we want about three inches of this fabric embedded. I'm gonna take it roughly about three inches, just kind of tap it in to get it started. Take your brush. You want to make sure that this is good and flat in that base coat, just like so. Once you have it like that, a little more material. If you do exactly what you did the first time on the bottom coat, on the top coat, you are doing it correctly. Now that we have our base layer, our fabric, and our top layer applied, what I like to do is I just dip the tip of my brush, let it kind of fall, and I put a dab right over here. And I'm gonna take this tail and I'm gonna just stick it in there. What that's gonna do is that's gonna stop this fabric on a windy day like what we're having today from pulling your test before you're ready to pull it. All right guys, now that we have the pull test applied, we're gonna wait 24 hours. Sometimes you may need to wait a little longer if you're in a drier climate here in Southern Indiana. A lot of humidity, so this is going to cure just fine in 24 hours. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's been 24 hours for this adhesion test and we're ready to pull it. First thing we want to do is just go ahead and cut this little tail here. That way it frees up our loop so we can hook it up to our scale and give it a pull. Pass the hook of your scale through the loop. Now keep in mind you want to pull perpendicular or 90 degrees to the roof surface. So if you're on a little slope, you don't want to pull perfectly up. You want to pull in 90 degrees from the roof surface. So let's go ahead and pull this. So there we go. If you can zoom in on that, we got about, say nine pounds of pull there. Industry standard is gonna be two pounds of pull. So you only need two pounds, we got nine. And then if you focus here, what 
what we want to see is silicone left on the roof. This is a pass, no matter what the weight. So that was a successful adhesion test. Pulled about nine pounds, had cohesive failure there, where we still had material on the roof, fabric came clean off. That's ideal, that's what we're looking for. Let's say that it doesn't do that. All of the material comes off, doesn't pull enough weight. That doesn't mean that you can't get a warranty on that roof, that just means we might need to take other measures. So get with your regional manager to see what needs to be done there. That is how you do an adhesion test the right way. If you guys want to get one of these pull test kits from PM, just go ahead and reach out to your regional manager. Link is in the description below and he'll get one out to you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.